Well, Sinn Féin's alternative budget believes that we need to reduce the deficit in a fair way. We've argued in our alternative budget that the deficit can be reduced by about 2.5 billion euro, but we do that in a fair way, about 1.4 billion euro of taxation and 1 billion euro in spending. At the same time, what we do is we ensure that ordinary families are given a tax break. How we do this is by scrapping the property tax that affects 1.8 million householders. That means a reduction of on average 276 euro for next year for them. 300,000 people will be taken out of paying USC under our proposals, while at the same time we protect children and we protect families. So for example, we want to see free GP care extended to all children under five years of age. We want to provide half the cost of all school books to children in this state. We want to give 500 additional schools free school meals, while at the same time we want to ensure that there are other issues there that protect families struggling, particularly areas like mortgage distress, where there needs to be a public service there where people can access through employing 100 additional uh, public uh, insolvency practitioners. And we do this then by in introducing new taxation measures and identifying new savings. For example, we call for a third rate of tax on incomes above €100,000, that they would pay seven cents more on every euro that they earn above that figure. We believe that gambling should be taxed at 3%. We believe that uh, the black market activity uh, can be combated as the revenue themselves suggested by employing additional people in revenue that could bring in €100 million euro of additional taxes to, just through combating that sector. And there are other measures such as capital capital gains tax and capital acquisition tax that we believe need to be restored to the levels that they were before Charlie McCreevy introduced his policy of cutting taxes like that across the board. There are areas in savings as well. We believe it's wrong today when schools are so underfunded that we fund private education to the tune of over 100 million. So we need to phase this out over a three year period. We need to have the full cost recovery of a uh, private health in our public hospitals. We need to reduce the costs of, uh, that the state is spending on, on medicines and we need to implement the report from the ESRI which said that we can make additional savings in these matters. So all in all this is about a fair budget. It reduces the deficit by 2.5 billion euro, it gives 1.8 million households uh, a tax relief by scrapping the property tax, it provides 296,000 people are taken out of the USC net, every child in, the, in, in this state under five will have free GP care. Every child going to school, both primary and secondary, will have half their school's uh, books paid for. Uh, 500 additional schools will have free school meals. We will put, give 200 children that are on the waiting list for bilateral uh, cochlear implants the gift of hearing. There are ways to have a fairer budget, and Sinn Féin has produced it in our alternative budget this year. In previous years, uh, Fine Gael and Labour have dismissed some of your proposals. They said they're fair tale and economics. This is fully costed, is it? We went this year again with costing our measures through parliamentary questions as we do every year, but this year we've also engaged with the Department of Finance and the Department of Public Expenditure in relation to their budgetary costing unit, the same units that give the Minister for Finance his costings for his budget. And I must say we've been engaged thoroughly with them for the last three weeks and I'm um, deeply appreciative of the assistance we have. So look, our measures are costed, they can be implemented, and it's about showing that there is a fair way to reduce the deficit. Everybody knows we need to reduce the deficit, but we need to do it in a fair way. And we need to do it at the same time with lifting the burden off those who have struggled under the last six austerity budget by this government and by the previous Fianna of Well administration. But there are other areas as well in our, our alternative budget that go beyond deficit reduction. For example, we call for a 10 billion euro investment in jobs. It is absolutely appalling that we have 415,000 people uh, languishing on the live register, that we've had 300,000 people emigrate in the last number of years. We need to give our young people a chance to live in their own home country, to help them rebuild their economy and our alternative bu budget gives them the tools to do that. So there are areas where we can uh, also address such as natural resources which we've squandered, which we've given away as a result of the Bertie O'Hearn eras. We need to have a full analysis in relation to how we capture back revenue and our resources back into the hands of the Irish people. We need to look and make sure that multinational uh, corporations are paying their fair share in tax. Sinn Féin does not want to see corporation tax increased but it is wrong that some people are abusing and exploiting loopholes that exist in our tax code to reduce their uh, liability to just below uh, 2%. So we want to address those loopholes and, and make sure that everybody is paying their way to try and restore this economy and undo the damage that the Fianna Fáil administration did to this economy and to communities the length and breadth of the state.